Does height matter anymore in today's pageants? The reason I ask is because three contestants in Miss Philippines Earth 2022 pageant have been disqualified after they admitted that they did not meet the minimum requirement of five feet and four inches. Designer Angela O'Call of Surigao, singer model Cesc Cruz of Antipolo, and model Renee Colleen Santa Teresa of Batangas were disqualified last Thursday, July 14th, after falling short of Miss Philippines Earth's height requirement. Carousel Productions, which owns the pageant, should have at least conducted an in-person screening months ago of all the candidates where each of them could be measured as far as their height or other statistics are concerned. By doing this, they could have automatically eliminated the applicants that did not meet the minimum height requirement, or they could have required each contestant to have someone measure their height. Partially to blame also is the handler or manager of the contestant who failed to go over the details on the application form. To put things into perspective, this year's competition is hybrid, a combination of online events and physical coronation night, which will take place on August 6th. Now, the online events started May 23rd with uh, 38 contestants, but only 20 will advance to compete on stage during the live coronation night. The problem is the three disqualified contestants have already competed in the virtual preliminary competitions of the pageant, not to mention that they had spent substantial amount of money and other resources. So it is disheartening to know that they would never have the chance to shine on stage. This is not the first time that a contestant has been disqualified due to not meeting the minimum height requirement of five feet four or 165 centimeters. Miss Earth South Africa, Irini Mutsuris, was disqualified from the Miss Earth 2017 contest. Why? Because she only measured 164 centimeters, just one centimeter shorter. So her national director, who should have known about the height requirement, was forced to take Irini back to her country. Miss Philippines Earth organizer Lorraine Shook told ABS-CBN News that the organization stands by its decision. And I quote, The Miss Philippines Earth pageant has its own criteria. Prospective candidates must meet those requirements, including the standard 5 foot 4 minimum height requirement, said Shook who has kept the standard for 22 years, even as other local competitions have dropped the height standard in recent years. Shook also stated that actual height measurements were done on the candidates at the Miss Philippines Earth Base at the Carousel Mansion last Thursday prior to the much anticipated announcement of the final top 20 candidates this Friday night. End of quote. So get this, the girls were measured in person just two days before the selection of top 20. This meant that a girl had to travel from her province to Manila only to be rejected on the spot because she's only five feet three inches tall. Lorraine Shook also said that their videos will remain in our site, an online platform, and will still be considered for special awards. Well, there's no guarantee that any or all three of the disqualified contestants will walk away with any award. So really, it's, it's all smoke and mirrors. Now, going back to my question, does height matter anymore in today's pageants? The answer is no. I understand that pageant organizations are private entities who have the right to make their own rules, but sometimes rules are meant to be broken in exceptional circumstances. One of the disqualified contestants is only 
five feet, three and a half inches tall. So she missed the minimum height requirement by just half an inch. What if she turned out to be the best speaker and presented the best environmental advocacy? I mean, she can't be an earth warrior just because she's too short. If the other major pageants like Miss Universe and Miss World don't have a height requirement, why does Miss Earth continue to have one? I mean, look at Miss World, 1963, Carol Crawford. She was only five feet two. And Miss Universe, 1965 from Thailand, Apostle Hong Sakula, she was only five feet four. At Miss Universe 2021, the shortest representative was Nadine Dayani from Bahrain, who stands five feet one, the shortest contestant in the entire history of Miss Universe. If pageants intend to empower women, how is disqualifying short women empowering them? Maybe Miss Earth should listen to Nadine's inspirational words. Nadine says, I'm petite. I'm the shortest Miss Universe contestant in history. I don't match the beauty standards, but I'm there to embrace it. It's time to break the stereotypes. If I can do it, you can do it too. So what do you guys think? Do you think that Miss Earth should drop its height requirement? Can a short title holder have the same commanding presence of a tall title holder? I mean, since Miss Earth is all about promoting environmental advocacy, shouldn't one's power of persuasion and influence supersede her height or other physical attributes for that matter? Comment below. Until the next time, bye.